talk about a popping crypto headline to start this week. Fidelity rumored to file Bitcoin spot ETF in U.S. Bid for Grayscale. Right off the bat, Bitcoin not reacting crazy bullish or anything like that. Always interesting to note what the BTC charts are doing when we're kind of getting some type of news like this. The market's typically really just, the market's really like this, this type of headline as it relates to Bitcoin. The vibes are not so much the same as maybe they would have been a couple of years ago. And I want to talk about that in this video. But before we even dive into this article and what is happening right now, I want to just kind of set the tone. BlackRock, and this is from four days ago, BlackRock Fidelity might be aggressively bullish on Bitcoin amid bloodbath. This is based off of what everybody kind of came to know about BlackRock and Fidelity. Did you know that while the SEC is busy suing Binance and Coinbase, BlackRock and the biggest banks in the U.S. silently bought record amounts of Bitcoin? The puzzle is really starting to come together now. Looking at the largest holders of MicroStrategy stock, we can see some big banks have been buying huge amounts of micro strategy. Remember, kind of getting this backdoor exposure to Bitcoin. Yes, that's the same micro strategy that's the largest institutional holder of Bitcoin, owning 140,000 Bitcoin worth over 3 billion. The other day we kind of covered this tweet because look what was on there, BlackRock as they were applying for their spot ETF. Look who else is on here. Fidelity. Fidelity, a 1% stake in micro strategy up 28,000%. So that's context for the breaking news that's happening right now. And this is what we're looking at. The application of the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, for a Bitcoin spot ETF has generated bullish momentum in the past second half of last week. This is because out of 576 applications filed with the U.S. SEC, only one application has been, been rejected so far. 575 applications have been approved. Now we have the third largest asset manager, Fidelity could soon follow suit according to rumors and also apply for a spot Bitcoin ETF and make a bid for a trouble leading crypto asset manager Grayscale. So Grayscale, the other really big piece of this news we're going to talk about in a minute. According to anonymous source, Fidelity, Fidelity is reportedly planning a seismic move in the crypto markets. And here we go. Fidelity Digital Assets and Fidelity are about to make a seismic move in crypto via both Bitcoin and ETH. Sources expect Fidelity to either make a bid for Grayscale or quickly launch their own spot Bitcoin ETF. One or both are coming soon. BlackRock and Fidelity will own the crypto space in the U.S. And this is where we kind of dive into the conversation. There's, if you go on Twitter, even probably YouTube, there's going to be mixed signals. I'm seeing it right off the bat. For instance, this is an example of kind of a more bullish tweet about what's going on. After BlackRock, now Fidelity, investments with $4.3 trillion in assets is preparing to apply for a Bitcoin spot ETF and also to submit an offer to acquire Grayscale soon. This is super bullish. Here we got one. After BlackRock, now Fidelity is planning to apply for a Bitcoin spot ETF. Now is the time to accumulate and invest. This is where the tides turn. And I'm very curious about your thoughts here, everybody. Digital assets and Fidelity is about to make a seismic move in, in crypto via both Bitcoin and ETH. Sources expect Fidelity to either make a bid for Grayscale or quickly launch their own. BlackRock and Fidelity will own the crypto space in the U.S. A little bit different of a tone. John Deaton over here on Twitter. Well, I think this was from 10 months ago, and he just replied to the tweet that we just read. This was from 10 months ago. John Deaton called it. Look at this. What's happening is that cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, it's one of the few times in history where the individual kind of front run the, the industry, if you right. will, in the hedge funds. And personally, I think that Gensler's attack on crypto is to allow the hedge funds and the Wall Streeters to come in, crash the market. They come in and then By the way, they do the that with the stock market. And I By the way, they do that with the stock market, he says. They're just... They're just getting their hands in the pot. And everything that's been happening over the course of months, even as it relates to the banks falling, everything that's been happening, as it all starts happening more and more and coming together more and more, the puzzle pieces fitting together, it really does seem like something bigger is going on, like John Deaton was alluding to. 
The rumored bid for Grayscale, this is the other piece of it, is no less interesting than the ETF application. As is well known, Grayscale's parent company, Digital Currency Group, has been in trouble for quite some time. Grayscale is considered DCG's cash cow holding over 630,000 Bitcoin in its Bitcoin Grayscale Trust. A bankruptcy of DCG and Grayscale was long considered a potentially catastrophic capitulation event last year, early this year. So Fidelity potentially stepping in and rescuing uh, DCG, Grayscale, another really big piece of this puzzle. Now, Wendy over here on uh, Twitter, interesting take. Fidelity acquiring Grayscale would not surprise me. BlackRock applying for the BTC ETF was planned with patience. It seems that FTX could have been orchestrated all along. How many more coincidences are needed? And once again, I am here agreeing with Wendy, especially off the back of this John Deaton video, who also kind of has that similar tone. And I think this tweet really ties it all together. Rumors of Fidelity getting in on spot Bitcoin ETF race and potentially bidding for Grayscale. Look, they're retweeting this post from March 27th. Binance and CZ sued by the CFTC. U.S. government was cool with SBF drafting crypto legislation with Gensler and sending user funds to politicians, but ever since their boy got exposed, it's been an all-out assault on all things crypto by the U.S. government, kneecapping the competition for BlackRock, Fidelity, and NASDAQ. Gotta keep it all in the fam. Notice the date of this, March 27th. We have people in the space that really kind of front ran, front ran this, this news that came out today, kind of seeing a bigger picture, kneecapping the competition for BlackRock, Fidelity, and NASDAQ. John Deaton over here on Twitter, 10 months ago, kind of calling what is happening right now. And so I would really like to know your thoughts in the comments below. I think a couple of years ago, this might sound like kind of conspiracy, but in my opinion, I really don't think it does at all. It really does make so much sense. It would be surprising if this stuff wasn't happening right now, especially with the timing of all the bearish things that have happened over the course of the last year, year and a half. So let me know your thoughts of this news, everybody. I appreciate you cruising through. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe as we grow this YouTube channel. Your support really means so much to me. And hit that like button on the way out. I will see you in the next video. God bless.